Well, Black and White Network, we're going to be talking about the lame duck that is Joe Biden. Joe Biden only has, what, about five months or so left in office. He's going away because the Democratic Party decided to implement a coup to oust him. Now, word is also coming down, guys, that it was actually Obama and uh, Kamala Harris is well in on it. They were telling Joe Biden, hey, if you don't drop out, we're going to implement the 25th Amendment to actually push you out. Yeah. Not very Democratic from the Democratic Party, right? Well, we also know that uh, Joe Biden is very, very salty with the Supreme Court. Now, when Beijing Biden actually said he was uh, dropping out, he would actually be pushing for changes to the Supreme Court because the Supreme Court said that Donald Trump cannot be prosecuted for official acts that he did when he was in the Oval Office. But Joe Biden didn't like that, man. He definitely wants Trump prosecuted. He wants changes. Well, if Joe Biden actually gets his way, then Barack Hussein, Barack Hussein Obama is going to get arrested and thrown in prison for murdering an American citizen. But you know what, guys? Probably um, Joe Biden right now is probably thinking, you know what? I don't like Barack for what he actually did to me, so throw him in prison. But guys, if the president doesn't have any type of immunity, then he can't do his job. It's just that simple. And by the way, guys, this is not going to pass whatsoever because the founding fathers, man, they made it extremely hard to implement the changes that Biden actually wants to do. Let's get into this, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m., Central Standard Time. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button to get access to the same thing. And everyone can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals, both for just $5 per month. Check the links in the description. So here we go, guys, right here. Biden to push for constitutional amendment next week to reverse Trump immunity decision, according to reports. Now, this is impossible, guys. It's not going to happen. There will be no constitutional amendment. Now, the Republicans have a slight majority in the House and the Democrats have a slight majority in the Senate. However, that is irrelevant, guys, because the founding fathers, I guess they knew, hey, in order to make a drastic change like this, you guys are going to need a super majority. Now, guys, there's a reason why no president has actually been ousted via impeachment because it takes, what, 75 percent of the uh, Senate to actually do a conviction. It only takes a majority to actually implement um, articles of impeachment. OK, this is why you've never seen a president removed, because if it happens, it could easily be weaponized by the opposing party, even though Andrew Johnson, who is one of the worst presidents ever, Democrat, by the way, he was almost ousted by a single vote. Says here, Beijing Biden is set to propose several changes to the U.S. Constitution on Monday to make good on his promise to reform the Supreme Court, according to a report. In a reversal from uh, Beijing Biden's longstanding resistance to changes to the high court, Biden said on Wednesday that Supreme Court reform would be among his top priorities for the remainder of his term in office. Biden announced Sunday that he would not seek, seek a re-election after mounting pressure from Democratic Party officials who asked him to step aside after he after his uh, widely uh, panned debate performance in June. Beijing Biden is expected to repose setting term limits for justices on the Supreme Court, which would require a constitutional amendment and establishment establishing an enforceable code of ethics, which could be enacted by Congress, Politico reported. Like I said, guys, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Goes on. Biden is also likely to voice support for a constitutional amendment that would limit immunity for presidents and certain other office holders after the court ruled in July that presidents 
cannot be prosecuted for official acts during their time in office. The court's ruling stemmed from a case concerning concerning uh, former President Trump. And you know what, guys? Joe Biden should be happy that um, the Supreme Court said that um, presidents can't be prosecuted for official acts because look at what Joe Biden has actually done. You know, especially with the border, man. He is responsible for the death of Americans by allowing these illegals to come in, which is actually against the Constitution. The framers of the Constitution intentionally made it difficult to amend. A two thirds majority of both the House and the Senate needs to pass any proposed amendment. But it doesn't stop there, guys, which is then sent to the states for ratification. It must be approved by three fourths, 38 out of 50 states to become the the supreme law of the land. Not going to happen. There's actually more um, red states, more Republican states than Democratic states. He knows this is not going to happen. It's not going to pass the House, not going to pass the Senate. It's not even going to get to the states, guys. I will be stunned if that happens. I'll be stunned. So Biden is out of his mind, man. He is out of his mind. Uh, This is what he said, quote, this decision today has continued the court's attack in recent years on a wide range of long established legal principles in our nation. From gutting voting rights, which is a lie, and civil rights, which is a lie, to taking away women's right right to uh, choose, to today's decision that undermines the rule of law of this nation, Biden said in public remarks after the court handed down its opinion. Politico reported the uh, specifics of the proposal had not been finalized and could still change. The White House didn't didn't immediately um, respond to a request for comment. Uh, Biden said um, Supreme Court reform is critical to our democracy. Yeah. OK. In an Oval Office address Wednesday, explained his decision to drop out of the 2024 election. Yeah. Joe Biden, man, he's just salty, man. He is just salty and nothing more. He's done. Now he wants to uh, change the Supreme Court. Not going to happen. It is not going to happen, man. He is salty, really, that um, the Supreme Court actually has a 6-3 conservative majority, even though John Roberts is actually kind of wishy-washy in a way. Uh, The Supreme Court, man, is one of the last institutions, man, that still has integrity to actually stand up for the Constitution. Joe Biden doesn't like that. He doesn't like it. He is very furious, man, that Donald Trump is not going to trial because the Supreme Court actually stopped, you know, the weaponization so far. He wanted Donald Trump locked up. Joe Biden was pushing for this. His Marxist handlers definitely were pushing this. This is not going to happen, guys. It is not going to happen. This Supreme Court reform is not going to happen. They don't have votes from the Senate, the House or the states. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know. Stick about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time.